Today we're going to make a home gym that folds out of the wall. I made this gym because I wanted to experiment with CrossFit style workouts in my home, but I live in a loft with limited space. This entire structure is made out of plywood, so I started by cutting a bunch of strips on my table saw. The walls of my loft are 9 feet tall, so the back of the cabinet is going to be made by two pieces, a full 4 by 8 foot sheet of plywood, plus a 1 foot by 4 foot piece of plywood. After cutting the strips of plywood to length, I started gluing and screwing these strips to the two pieces of plywood that are going to make the back of the cabinet. For the second layer of strips, I made sure to offset the joints so that the whole cabinet would be nice and strong. The first two vertical layers of strips are 6 inches wide. The last few layers are 3 inches wide. Those 6 inch wide strips are going to be important later when I attach the chin up bar. I just kept adding layer after layer until I had built up enough height in the cabinet so that all of the weight plates could be covered. I marked the location for the one and a quarter inch diameter holes that are going to hold the dowels which will in turn hold the weight plates. I gave the cabinet a light sanding before painting the edges. I'm doing this now because once the cabinet is installed it'll be a lot harder to get to the edges. The studs in my wall are 16 inches on center and the cabinet is 4 feet wide so I have the opportunity to attach the cabinet to three separate studs. I used my Ryobi stud finder to find the locations of the studs and I used a level to mark lines so I knew where to prop up the cabinet before securing it to the wall with three inch long screws. I used two angle brackets to secure the cabinet to the ceiling joists. I then added more strips of plywood to cover up these angle brackets. I cut some short pieces of dowel to fit into the holes which will hold the plates. I'm going to use half inch furniture grade plywood to make a sort of drawbridge which will not only conceal the weights, it will also serve as a pad for protecting my floors when I'm throwing heavy weights around. I glued 4 inch wide strips of half inch plywood to the perimeter of this drawbridge panel. I purposefully left off two of the bottom strips of plywood on the wall cabinet part so that I could mark the locations of the hinges. I then used my drill and jigsaw to cut holes into these pieces of plywood so that the hinge part of the hinge would have room to move. I also used my new palm router from Ryobi to recess the hinges a little bit. This will just help make sure that the drawbridge panel sits flush up to the wall cabinet. I then glued these pieces together and got ready to start painting everything. I glued and screwed this hinge piece to the wall cabinet and then slid the drawbridge up to it and installed the hinges. Now that the drawbridge was installed I could measure to see how long I needed that last piece of half inch plywood to be. I was then able to finish the frame for the drawbridge and glue the center lifting platform into place. We painted the inside of the drawbridge and then installed a latch that will keep the drawbridge up to the cabinet. I'm using rigid conduit to make the chin-up bar that's going to fold out of the cabinet. This bar will be held in place by these heavy-duty shelf brackets that I got from Rockler. These brackets are the reason why the first few layers of vertically oriented plywood are 6 inches wide. That gives me 3 layers of 3 quarter inch plywood to attach the chin up bar to. The chin up bar wouldn't stay in the closed position so I added some large magnets that would hold it up. I used a jigsaw and my drill to make a bracket out of 3 quarter inch plywood that will end up holding the weight bar. I used L brackets to hold this piece of plywood in place. 
I bought some foam mats that are meant for gym floors and cut them with my box cutter so they would fit into the drawbridge. My buddy Rodney was in town visiting and he's super into CrossFit so he showed me some basic exercises. I'm still recovering from a foot injury but I'm excited to try this type of exercise as soon as it gets better. The drawbridge does an excellent job of protecting the floors. Additional padding could have been added in between the layers of plywood which would have reduced more sound transferring to the floor below. But according to the people that I asked, they said that you want a really firm platform so you can get more explosive power out of it. I'm just really happy that I can store a bar, a full set of weight plates, and a chin-up bar all in less than four square feet of floor space. My friend Heather came to try out some Olympic style lifts and also to make fun of me for having weight plates that have pounds instead of kilograms. For more detailed instructions, check out our website. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Check out some of our other DIY fitness videos. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.